introduce yourself. I'm going to put this down. Yes, that's okay. Not here. No, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival Facebook live stream. We are being housed here at the uh, Sedona Performing Arts Center, lovingly locally called SPAC. I have a wonderful filmmaker in our seat who's here with a full length uh, documentary. Please introduce yourself and your film for us. Uh, my name is Greg Jacobs, and I am the co director with my colleague John Siskel of uh, the film The Road Up. Yeah, I've read about this one. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I know that you have brought a trailer. So I would love to introduce the trailer and then get caught up with you after. Absolutely, okay. let's go for it. So let's take a look at the trailer and catch the audience up. I always cared at least a little bit about everything. And something just snapped in my head and I didn't give a shit about anything. Um, I'm interested in the customer service position. Yeah, I made a mistake, but um, it's not gonna happen again. Maybe something else might happen, but not that one. <laughs> well, I need some work experience, so I'm willing to do just about anything. Not too degrading, but I do something to get me back into the workforce. Good morning. Good morning. What's the latest and the greatest? I would never think to try a job training program. I know how to work. Go. Say I don't, don't want to go. go. Say you don't want to go. go. Say you don't want to go. Say you don't want to go. Sit your ass down. If you don't come here because you truly want to change your life, it's not going to work. I am worthy of the best that life has to offer. I don't care how many mistakes I made. It's hard. It's hard as hell. But if we know that, who in the hell want to do it by their damn self? Anything that is worth obtaining takes hard work, and this is the work. I mean, I feel good about today. <laughs> so, I don't know. All we're doing is selling hope. I can't get you to the next step. I cannot feed that little glimmer of hope that got you to get up out the bed in the first place. Without hope, there's nothing. Lift me up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up. Turn your head back and say it again. Tell this is a film that I want to see, and I want to know how what inspired you to make it. Why why this film? So um, a lot of times we'll say, you know, uh, we find our documentary topics, and sometimes they find us. Mm -hmm. And this one definitely found us. Um, there's a story. There. There's a, definitely a story there. I mean, it's actually just it's sort of funny how kind of small a story it is. A friend of ours, Amy Ostrander, um, was at an event maybe six, seven years ago, and she was talking to a, an acquaintance of hers who said, I, I'm involved in this amazing organization called CARA, and um, you know, I always thought it would make a great documentary. And she said, I happen to know a couple guys who do that. So she connected us, and uh, we went to see the organization that you saw in the trailer. And it is just, uh, it's an amazing place, and we knew right away that um, this was a place that had incredible stories and incredible people to meet. And you know, sometimes you start to make a documentary and it's like a relationship where uh, it starts to like fade and you start thinking, did I make a mistake here? Um, but every time we went and every visit we had and every person we met, it just confirmed this is a great space for a documentary and that's how we got started. It's a documentary that looks like it gets you where all the feels are. <laughs> like how many <laughs> tears did you shed in this? It's, it, it was amazing. So we filmed um, what you saw in the trailer was sort of the way the documentary weaves together the lives of the four main people that we followed who are um, participants in this job training program. And, um, you know, they're people who have sort of essentially kind of hit rock bottom in some form or another, mm -hmm. um, whether it's, you know, afterlife of incarceration or addiction or something like that. Um, and, uh, and now this is, you know, it's not quite a last hope, but it, it has that feel. Mm -hmm. um, so the first month of it, they all have to go through the class, and that's Jesse, who you see in the, um, the trailer, who's the most, one of the two or three most amazing teachers of anything I've ever seen. 
and um, his job is just to inspire some form of hope in them, to get right. them to sort of feel again and realize that they're not at the end and that there's real possibility there. Um, and so, um, yeah, it was really sort of amazing to watch that in action. And there were so many times where Jesse was, you know, we would leave after a shoot and we would say, did Jesse look into your soul too? Um, because, you know, there were takes, you know, scenes that were ruined by us crying behind the camera, that yeah. kind of thing. So it's, yes. it's powerful stuff, basically. Well, and when you can feel that, that sense that what you as a filmmaker has right. put into it, it becomes real for the audience. Yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, we always, that's always a guide for us is when, uh, especially when the crew, um, when the shooter or the sound guy or woman or whatever, um, afterwards, you know, can't stop talking about it. Yes. That's when you know <laughs> we're onto something because they don't have to feel that way. So when is it playing here at the festival? So it's playing here this afternoon at four. Ah, um, get your tickets. Get your tickets now. Um, and then it's, um, and then my uh, co-director, John, gets to come out for the next showing, which I think is Thursday. Um, so we're sort of splitting up the, the thrill of being here in Sedona. Well, welcome to Sedona. Thank you. We're so glad that you're here. We love our filmmakers. We call this the Filmmakers Festival. Oh, that's great. Because Thank Because it's you. incredible and we're happy to be live. What is your next project? What can we count on you for and where can they uh, catch up with you on the interwebs? Uh, well, you can find this film at the road up, uh, film com, and you can find us at siskeljacobs.com um, and all the Facebooks and Twitters and all of that. Um, and um, as far as the next film goes, we're sort of right now in the process of kind of turning this into something that um, is has an impact campaign. So it kind of it's not just a film that's out there, but it also is making a difference in concrete ways. So uh, we're really focusing on that, and then we'll get to a point where we go, oh my god, we have to have another project. Yes. Um, and that's when we'll get desperate. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody has any ideas, please call us. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Yes, exactly. We're at the Sedona International Film Festival. Please watch the movie. Uh, follow them, because this is going to create a movement, a movement that I know that we deserve in this community and all communities across the U.S. Thank you for making the film. Thank you so much. I and appreciate thank it. you for being here. I appreciate <laughs> you. And stay tuned. We'll have another interview in the seat momentarily, and we will catch you on the next round.